dear students in last class we solved a problem on series resonance circuit used for ac high voltage generation in today's class we will learn how to generate high frequency high voltages high frequency high voltages are required to supply high dc voltage power supply rectifier used in research work in the areas of pure and applied physics insulation test on cables capacitors with very small ripple and for testing electrical apparatus for switching surges see in the research work in the areas of pure and applied physics high dc voltage with less ripples in it is required and also for testing the cables and capacitors dc voltage with less ripple is required to generate dc high voltages with less ripples power supplies in which rectifiers which are being supplied with high frequency ac high voltages are used the high frequency high voltage ac is generated by using a circuit called tesla coil such a tesla coil is shown in figure here now here in the tesla coil what you see is a air core high voltage high frequency transformer capacitor c1 a spare gap whose spares are made up of metal the gap between the two spares here can be adjusted according to our requirement c2 is the capacitive load across which voltage v2 appears v1 is voltage across capacitor c1 now let us know how it works if we apply ac or dc voltage as input to this circuit between the terminals shown here then the current flows through capacitor c1 and the primary winding to charge capacitor c1 with the polarity shown here when voltage across capacitor c1 becomes equal to v1 then for the adjusted gap between the two spheres here let us say the medium between the spheres gets ionized and starts to conduct at that time the input ac supply must be disconnected now the capacitor will start to discharge through the ionized medium between the spheres and through the primary of high voltage high frequency transformer let us say current i1 is discharging current and this current i1 flows through the primary of high voltage high frequency transformer then emf gets induced in the secondary of the transformer because there is 
mutual induction between the two windings. Now the induced voltage which is V2 will appear across the load capacitor C2 and V2 has higher magnitude and higher frequency. The waveform of output voltage V2 may be seen here now. You can see the V2 has got damped oscillations. That is with the time the magnitude of V2 goes on decreasing. The frequency of oscillation is very high here. The windings on primary side and secondary side are tuned to a frequency of 10 to 100 kilohertz with the help of C1 and C2 that is omega L1 is made equal to 1 by omega C1 and omega L2 is made equal to 1 by omega C2. primary and secondary windings are tuned to ten to hundred kilohertz with the help of C1 and C2 that is in 10 to 100 kilohertz frequency range at resonance omega L1 is equal to 1 by omega C1 and omega L2 equal to 1 by omega C2 omega is 2 pi f here where f is any frequency in this range where L1 comma L2 are inductances of primary and secondary windings C1 is condenser C2 is load capacitance the primary voltage is 10 kV and the secondary voltage
may be as high as Five hundred to thousand kV. The secondary voltage depends on L one, L two, C one. C2 and M value. Relationship between input and output holders let nita be the efficiency of transformer the energy transferred To the secondary site capacitor W equal to half into nita into C1 into V1 square. Here half into C1 into V1 square is energy stored in the capacitor on primary site. Energy stored in the capacitor on primary side times the efficiency will give us the energy stored in the capacitor on the secondary side of the transformer. So we will equate half nita into C1 V1 square to half C2 into V2 square. From this equation we get V2 equal to V1 into under the root efficiency times C1 by C2 where V2 is voltage on the secondary side or the capacitive load and V1 is the supply voltage. Now we will see the advantages of using high frequency high voltage air cord transformers. The first advantage is the absence of iron core in transformers results in saving in cost and size. Second one, since there is no iron core, no question of saturation of the core arises even at input voltage of 10 kV. Therefore, pure sine wave output voltage may be obtained. Due to the absence of iron core, the voltage builds up very slowly and hence there will be no damage caused to the load because of the switching surges. And since there is no iron core, Uniform distribution of voltage across the winding coils due to 
सब डिविजन ऑफ क्वाइल स्टैक इनटू नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स इज अचीव्ड लास्टली विल राइट द पावर रेटिंग of the transformer may be 10 kva or more dear students i'll stop the class here and continue in the next week thank you